All right, guys, for the project that I'm going to be doing today, these are the things that you will need. A hot glue gun, chalk paint, and other paint, just whatever you want to use, really. And then I use these. These are my favorite to use. You'll also need a razor blade to take off the sticker on the um, sign. You'll need scissors. I used this to make my bow um, to be able to switch from side to side because it is a two-sided sign. I used this bigger twine to actually hang it up. I made a bow using two different ribbons. Um, and I also used this metallic marker from Dollar Tree to write on it. And you'll need a pencil. So that is what you will need. And you will also either need a cheap sign from Dollar Tree. Mine is from the Halloween decor, but you can also use a foam board and just cut it into the shape of a mason jar. So let's get started if you're wanting to see my sign. Mommy Paint, hey guys, I have had this Halloween thing since before Halloween even started and I just thought that I would go ahead and finally make my mason jar um, wreath to hang on my door. I'm going to do both sides. Like I know a lot of people didn't like this but I actually like this little overlay but I just want to paint them solid white. I think I'm going to paint this side first because it probably needs a lot more coats. I need a smaller brush. Um, sorry guys for my hands. It's at a weird angle. Uh, the paint that I like to use is this. It's cheap. That's what I use to paint that um, table also. I just want to get a good amount. Yes, my son's right there too. He's waiting on some pizza and eating some cheese puffs. Um, I just want to get this get one layered kind of slopped on there it doesn't have to be anything perfect I just want to get something on it Colton quit hitting the glass door now I thought I would write home right here I don't know if I am going to freehand it I don't have a Cricut or anything sorry about him I don't have anything to do stencil with so I thought I would just freehand it I'm not looking for perfect I'm just looking for homemade really I do have these letter form things but I don't I don't know if you guys can see that but I don't like the blocked letter that they are not for this it's kind of too big Alright, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to put probably three coats on it so I can get the words covered up because they are in glitter, and when this is dry, I will be back. One good thing about chalk paint, it dries really fast. Alright guys, this is where I'm at so far with this side. The white still showed like the glitter lettering, lettering that was on it, so I... um dry brushed it with just this black paint and then I'm going to use white and just write home on it and I also made this little bow and I put this little hold on I put this little hook thing on it just out of smaller string so I can tie it on to this string and that's how I'm going to hang it. And since it's going to be a reversible sign, let me put it through there. No matter which side I use it, I can slide the bow whatever way. And the hot glue makes it um, flexible. So when I need to twist it from the bow so it's not upside down when I move it from side to side, the hot glue 
makes it flexible and I can just bend it and put the bow right side no matter what side it's on and it will be tied with this string so yeah I thought that was a pretty good idea all right guys so it is all painted and dried there we go and I think I'm just gonna take the white chalk paint and one of these and just paint home on it yeah that's that's my idea you guys that's what it turned out just trying to freehand it I don't like it so I'm gonna paint, let that dry and paint back over it black and maybe try and figure out uh, something else maybe use like a metallic marker or something I'm not real for sure but I don't like that all right this is how my sign turned out I did freehand this. It's not the best. I used that metallic marker, but I think it looks really cute. You can tell it's homemade. There is that side, and then here is this side, and there is that side. It's a little hard to see. I need to figure out something to do better stencil, but that's what it is for now. I did paint that a little bit darker and I did outline this just a little bit but that is what that side looks so now I have you know a two-sided sign when I get tired of one and I'm gonna hang this on my front door but yes I think this side is actually my favorite because I use mason jars with this label all the time it says sweetest pie because I didn't know what to put the chalk paint trying to paint on the home with the chalk paint didn't work. I think if I would have just used normal paint, it would have looked better. But yeah, that is how it turned out. You guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.